What's up guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Reformat Show. Tainan served as the capital of Taiwan for 200 years and is known by the Taiwanese as a foodie paradise. Now these are my 15 best things you must do here in Tainan, the oldest city of Taiwan, founded by the Dutch. Start off your Tainan adventure on an empty stomach at the most famous restaurant in town, called Du Xiao Ye. Renowned for its local dish, Dun Dun Noodles, a delicious noodle bowl. But this is where all the magic happens, at the oldest noodle shop in Taiwan. This restaurant has been here since 1895. Their noodles are served with a broth made from boiled sweet shrimp heads, bean sprouts, coriander, lean soy braised pork, garlic paste and black vinegar. Let's get a nice big bite of this. Mm. Oh man, I can see why this is a local delicacy. It's, it's like a spaghetti noodle with little pieces of pork. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taiwan's largest gashapon machine is located in downtown Tainan. For 100 NT, roughly 3 US dollars, you get a chance of winning a flight for two to Japan. Gashapon are very popular surprise balls here in Asia. Oh, all right. Our first ball, Let's see what we want today. Oh, the ticket! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I won a headphones case and a butterfly pea drink. Yeah, you heard that right. Butterfly pea. Butterfly pea. Wow, that's that's kind of weird. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. But a weird kind of flavor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean the butterfly pea flower, of course. Tainan is the oldest city of Taiwan and known for its incredible history. Taiwan used to be called Formosa, originally named by the Portuguese, meaning beautiful island. But from 1624 until 1662, the Dutch VOC took control of Formosa and turned it into a Dutch colony. Being Dutch myself, I was interested to find the remnants of this time period. So let's start at this old Dutch fortress called Fort Provincia. Within this museum, you will find historical documents, maps, and scale models of Fort Provincia in its original state. The pretty cool thing is, this place is open till 9 o'clock at night. Tainan is most famous for its beef soup. Time for some fresh beef soup. Look at this! Here at Wing Chang, you can order a delicious beef soup and beef tongue. Their epic beef soup will set you back 100 NT and this beef tongue stir fry another 180 NT. Now you cannot let it boil too long, so you have to scoop it over. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, that is really tender. I can see why this place is popular. But yeah, let's make things a bit more interesting with the stir fry beef tongue. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. That is amazing. Again, so juicy and tender. It's a very soft texture. Plus the tongue. Oh, and don't forget to leave your mark on their wall. Please note, this place is only open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and often includes a long waiting line. All right, guys, I'm here now at Unping Historical Site. Next up is the Unping Oyster Shell Cement Museum. Now, why would that be interesting, you may ask? Bricks and cement were hard to come by on Taiwan in the old colonial days. That's why the Dutch transported all these bricks from Indonesia and used crushed oyster shells, sugar and sticky rice to make mortar. Oyster shells, brown sugar and sticky rice. The most ridiculous mortar formula I've ever heard of, but I guess it did the job very well. It actually sounds so delicious, maybe I should lick it. This museum showcases the entire process of the oyster shells firing industry on Taiwan. All right guys, time for some sex education here. How to distinguish between a male and female oyster. <laughs> male oyster, a wrinkly surface. That's this, this part. The male oyster and the female oyster, a smooth surface. A funny fact, as the locals called the Dutch red hair foreigners, they nicknamed the mortar red hair soil. Check it out guys, Fort Zeelandia, an old Dutch colony here in Taiwan. The former Tate & Co merchant house is another beautiful historic building on Taiwan, which has now been turned into a museum and includes a complete exposition of the Dutch colonial history of Taiwan. Old Dutch trading ships from the time period, ancient maps and skill models of Dutch VOC ships. So Formosa was a big hub then between Japan, China and Indonesia. 
kaart van het eiland van Mosa. Een is map of the island van Mosa. 15 mijlen in een graad. So in the early days, this is what Anping actually looked like. Here we have Zeelandia, Fort Zeelandia, which was the first international trade port of Taiwan. One of the earliest waves of globalization. It was truly fascinating to see how people were compensated in the ancient days with Dutch stuivers and Rijksdaalders. I had an absolute field day at this museum. Very impressive stuff to say the least. Right next to the merchant house, you will find these unique remains of a warehouse engulfed by nature. Which is the reason why the locals call this remarkable place the treehouse. Creepy limp roots right there. Oh my god, that's so cool. So this is the roof, the roof of the warehouse. My mind is blown. I had no idea nature could take over in such a dramatic fashion. Ho ho ho! Wow, they look like curtains and drapes. It's unbelievable. I can't believe this area. This is a huge site as well. They preserved it very well. They restored it in the last decade. So it's really accessible. And it's definitely a thing you should check out here in Tainan. Okay, let's step up this Dutch history lesson with a big educational adventure at Fort Ceylondia, the main Dutch headquarters here on Formosa. This is an absolute beautiful site. Another great ancient spot to visit here in Tainan. Taiwan was primarily used by the Dutch as a transit hub due to its great central location in East East Asia. I could not believe my eyes. Just seeing so much Dutch history on display here in Taiwan was an absolute unique experience. Wow, look at this room behind me. This is insane. The Dutch governor of Formosa was Frederik Koyet, instated by the Dutch VOC, Verenigde Oost-Indische Compagnie, the Dutch East India Company. Now what makes the Dutch VOC so unique is it being the first multinational corporation and the first publicly traded company in the world. The top of the tower. Later fortifications of Fort Zelandia included coral as well. So in the old days you used any material for fortifications. So there was an abundance of coral which they used to build this wall. Before you walk down this wall, it gets more and more dramatic. I mean look, look at these corals, this is so cool. A full coral wall. Now the most surprising thing about Fort Zelandia was the sheer size. This place must have been a massive fortress for its time. Eventually the Chinese Ming Dynasty sent Koxinga to Formosa to banish the Dutch and take over the island. Here you can see the bust of Frederick Coyet, the governor of the East India Company. And here you can see the final treaty they signed. Now if you know some Dutch, you may recognize some words. It is really ancient Dutch though, so I had a hard time trying to understand it. And this is the guy that kicked out the Dutch. Koshinga. Koshinga besieged the Dutch for nine months, which left them with no other option than to surrender. Please note that you can obtain a special Unping Museum Pass to visit five sites for just 150 NT, roughly five US dollars. <laughs> Next to Fort Zelandia, you will find Anping Old Street, the first commercial street of Taiwan. So now walking down the market street near Anping, which was also used by the Dutch as the main trading market street. This street is packed with historic buildings, vendors, eateries, shops and restaurants, selling many delicious snacks. My favorite being this sweet almond tofu with red beans. All right, time for some refreshments at Shuing Shuing Tang. Yep, very hard to pronounce. Shuing Shuing Tang is the original tea house where bubble tea was invented. The bubbles in bubble tea refer to the tapioca balls at the bottom of these drinks, which are tasty, chewy treats. Since I'm here, I decided to try three of their most popular bubble teas. So I ordered the most popular milk tea here at the tea shop, which is the pearl milk tea. This is perfect, this is just the way you drink it, without too much sugar, perfectly balanced with the milk. The purple yam milk tea. Ooh, I'm not sure about that one. Not my cup of tea. Red bean tapioca milk tea. Stir that sucker up nicely. Oh wow. That's amazing! A great spot for photography is Shenong Street, especially during the evening. This cozy street is over 300 years old and best known for its historic sites, temples and stores. Originating from the Qing Dynasty and Japanese colonial times. My god, this is beautiful. So quiet and peaceful.
Alright, I got a bit hungry at this point, so I decided to feast on a famous local dish, skewered chicken butts. If you really want to go mental here in Tainan, grilled chicken butts. Can you believe that? Oh, crunchy. Quite fatty. A firm chicken ass. It's been working out a lot. Now the good thing is, there is no aftertaste with this. And no trip to Tainan is complete without some Taiwan beer. Hey, you gotta drink like the locals, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Ugh. Tainan is also popular for its locally grown mangoes. Reason enough to go all out and order this massive mango shaved ice, which includes mango, mango ice cream, shaved ice and condensed milk. This is massive! I really love mango and I cannot wait to give this a shot. Whoa! Oh, there's no import here, baby. Straight from the fields. If I don't control myself, I would literally finish this entire massive bowl. This is so good. This is the Garden Night Market and is the largest night market in Tainan. Sadly only open three days a week. Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Where you can indulge yourself in locally grown produce and delicious Taiwanese snacks. Now Tainan doesn't really have a nightlife. For that you have to either go to Taipei or Kaohsiung. But you can still enjoy a solid jam at the only nightclub in town. Muse Tainan. I came here on a Wednesday night and this place was packed. With an all you can drink entrance fee of 700 new Taiwan dollars. Basically 25 US dollars for an unlimited supply of booze and solid EDM. <laughs> During my adventure here in Tainan, I stayed at Silk's Place. An absolute gorgeous 5-star hotel with spacious, luxurious rooms, excellent customer service and live music during the evenings on their rooftop pool deck. This is a 5-star hotel in downtown Tainan. Got the pass here. Oh, what a beautiful room. Wow, 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 wow. This is huge! Woo! Oh. Now make sure you visit my website, reformat.com, to download a complete map with the exact addresses to all the locations I mentioned in this video, including some gorgeous photographs and all my personal advice. Now please like this video if you really enjoyed it, and if it was helpful, please share it with all your friends that may consider of visiting Taiwan, including my previous episodes in which I drank snake venom, ate an entire duck, received a bizarre knife massage, and took you guys with me through the incredible Taipei nightlife. All this just one click away in this playlist, right here. Next up.